Malphite with Comet. I went a little bit greedy here. I went conditioning instead of the second win. We'll see if I pay for it. Do I think Malphite is the best blind pick top? Mm, not the best, no. I think Wukong's the best. He's up there, though, man. He's definitely up there. Why not D-Shield? Because I want the pushing power early. We're going to try to go for the D-Blade uh, call combo. Our Ezreal said, bear with me, y'all haven't played this game in 10 days. <laughs> that's, I feel like that's one of the worst things you can type going into a match. Like, what's the point of even telling people that? I mean, I'm not going to flame the guy, but I don't know. I feel like most people would just flame that. Or like, it just wouldn't put him in a good mood, you know? Yeah, let's actually focus on farming because I need to get a call back. After we crash cannon wave. Thank God for my passive there. Good enough for me. He is going for more of the pokey build, so this actually might be a little annoying. But we'll try to play around his Qs. I can also E his Q if I need to. Try to take trades like that. Hey, welcome, Tom. Why did they buff Malphite? I have no idea, actually. I'm as confused as you are on that one. They said it was something to do with the Bramble nerf, but I don't know. <laughs> I feel like he was still performing pretty good. They didn't even really, they gave it literally one patch. To be fair, tanks are not in the best spot right now in the overall meta. I feel like every tank is not performing that well. I'm gonna go two points in E this game actually. Just to help E his keys. Nice, we got the auto in. I was worried I wasn't gonna get that. Mm, he's gonna TP back. Okay, this is good. Eh, sure, why not? Usually get camped when I play against Malphite. Okay, I gotta remember that I have an extra point in E this time. That's gonna really throw my brain off. I almost killed my Q. Just out of habit. I thought he was going to queue. We should gank right as I get six here.
probably could have solo killed that even. He wasn't ready for the level 6 timing. Uh, the extra point in E is just to help block out his Q damage. Because he's going for a Q max, more of like a poke build with the Comet. Like, I don't mind if it's more expensive mana. If it's also going to do more for me. Um, this guy's level 3. I mean, I guess you can get some Spell Thieves and kind of... Make me not get a very good recall. But that's a lot of time investment when you're already behind. You know what? I'm gonna go Merc Treads right now. If I go Merc Treads, there's no chance of me dying. Jacko has two levels on her now off that play. It does make me miss a cannon wave though. I guess it puts me slightly more behind. Is she just gonna like perma roam this game or what? This is weird. Yeah, she's literally top again. What is going on? Is she raging? Nothing bad even happened bot lane either. It's weird. We going for the dive. We got the Malphite. As good as I can do, boys. the best, but our ball line should be in a really good spot this game. I'm not, okay, I'm gonna just have to sack a wave. That's fine, I got enough for pickaxe. Yeah, I was gonna say, our Shaco should probably start matching the uh, Lulu realm. You know, it's actually not that bad for them, now that I think about it. Because Shaco Ezreal can't really dive Kai'Sa. So giving her solo XP actually might pay off for them. It actually doesn't seem that bad. So I, I think they're actually doing that on purpose. I don't think it's like a tilt play. God, this guy has so much armor, dude. An enemy has been slain. Okay, Lulu's kind of bot side. Yeah, 
Can she go? Oh my god, she's coming back to up. I mean, it's a Malphite land anyway. It's not like I can really pressure him too much. Yeah, this is kind of annoying for me, honestly. It's kind of funny because they're saying they're saying to X9 the Lulu, but I I feel like this play is actually good for them. The victor just doesn't understand. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Why did we not commit to that, guys? Um, I got the Herald. Yeah. Man, step number one of playing with Ergot, if he ulties someone, you just commit to it, man. That was weird. Diana bursted the victor and then she just left. Like right when I slapped ulti on him, she just bailed. Nah, I wanted to ulti. I wanted to ulti flash. That was definitely the play there, I just needed them to commit. Yo, thank you for the sub, dude. Shut down. Raksha, appreciate it. Sorry, I can't pronounce that full name, but thank you, dude. Appreciate the support. I need to drop Harold ASAP. Before these plates drop. We still get a lot of gold off that since we got the Herald. Not the worst. We can dive. That's a Herald power play, dude. Oh, okay. Uh, if Diego comes back, we can. Hecarim has healing. Feels like a Cleaver second game, honestly. Cleaver feels like massive value this game. I 
think Malphite ulti's down still. We should really try to walk in. Come on, guys. We can walk in a little bit here. Yeah, why are we giving them so much control? I'm so confused. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna have to split push this one, I'm thinking. Um, you don't want to eat into Hecarim. Like, some of the time you don't want to eat into Hecarim. Because his E has priority over your E sometimes. So I was trying to get away from him in that situation. They have a really good team comp, actually. I was really hoping she'd push. It's weird, though. I don't feel like our comp is that bad either, but we just, like, can't go in, I guess. Just her diving. Man, I have one on the call. I'm gonna stay. I have to. I like how the Lulu just knew I was in there, by the way. <laughs> hmm. Dang, I really need to cash in Cole for Cleaver. It's unfortunate. Guess we can do this and maybe wait. Gonna have to go stride this game if we want to get on their back line. Shut down. Another thing I could do, I could actually try to vine this game and just play for our back line. Because, you know, I don't know if I can go on their back line anyway. Oh, nice, I got it. 
Staring at the dragon, guys. Good job. I love when someone has a fat shield and you just pull them into the grind day. Aw, oh, rip. Maybe I should have reset actually. Do you have the cleaver shred? Clicked on his map, I guess. Yo, Diana, get over here, dude. Storm is gonna kill me. Dude, I feel like they actually used everything on me. I just tanked it out. All right, dude, we're actually going in and team fights are feeling good now. Good, looking good. Viego has 5k gold in the bag. Wow, he just got two items, dude. That's a huge spike. Have I been trying to clips? I've tried it a little bit. Um, I still feel like it's okay if you're really fed. And I've only been trying it when I've gotten really fed. So, like, the game just feels good anyway. So, I don't know how much of the is actually the mythic or just like being fed early on ergot you know it always feels good wow wait we can actually push now what is he doing that far up Wait for me to push, guys. It's gonna be hard with Titanic. Just get the turret, guys. So very close. Oh, I tried. Wait, dude. I hate how Victor W does that. It stuns you like after it goes away. Is it worth it to go MR rune for AP lane like Malphite, even if the enemy team comp is usually AD? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is for your lane still. Especially a champion like Malphite that's going to be poking you a lot. Yeah, I went MR this game. 
I think it's pretty much always worth to just play for your lane. Because that flat MR, or armor, whatever you're playing against, it really makes a difference in those early levels. It really it makes a massive difference. I can just go for stone play. I trust in my carries this game. Looks like everyone's playing pretty well. We'll just beef it up. I should be very strong just with these three, three core items anyway. Especially if we start to get some mountain drags. Just have to control the area right now for drag. Try to let him not walk in. I'm not even going for it. Okay, so after this, I'll crush your bot and we can just play for Baron. I'm gonna start just crushing right now. Get a little head start. A free for all mode in League? That'd be weird. Maybe they'll do it one day though. Every man for himself. I could see them doing it one day. Whoa, okay. Oh my god. Dude, I can't believe I landed that. That was so sick. I kind of flicked that at the last second. I actually cannot believe I landed that. That was the Zom flick right there, dude. I think we can just, uh, I think we can end, boys. God, I don't have anti-heal for this guy. But we don't need it. Alright, get me out of here. Kaiso's gonna ult on me. Ah, try to take her down with me. Ooh, nice work. Um, I'm pretty sure we could have ended if Viego came with us, though. I'm pretty sure, man. Okay, good. Oh my god, that scared me. Not bad, not bad. Got the stone plate, dude. Four item. Dude, once you get four item on our gut, feels so good, man. Especially if their ADC is not fed. You can actually tank. I should come visit Spain one day. That'd be cool. I'd like to visit a lot of places one day. Once I have uh, the time and money. <laughs> and when the world kind of returns back to normal. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. I did not mean to take that. Just waddling around with my W on. <laughs> It's so hard to siege against Victor, but if we just hold control until Dragon, that's fine. Yeah, it's too hard against Victor, even with Baron. I say we just five man bot if anything into Dragon play. Yeah, we could have got bottom hit, I feel. You know what? Let's try to Abyssal this game. It actually seems good. Their targets are really tanky. So the increased damage on my E would actually be pretty clutch. 15% increased damage for 5 seconds. That'd actually be really good. Imagine that on like Malphite or Hecarim. Bro, this Malphite build is just so counter to me. He literally has Thorn Mill and Warden's Mill. <laughs> He's going Frozen Heart too. These mids like Victor and Nivea and so on is just like so hard to end against. Aw, class. Field Ezreal, guys. Go for double end hip here. We'll just secure us Baron, then we can just group top and end, hopefully. Mm. Ah, Victor played it well. I went for the really high risk play. Whoops a daisy. Timer should be good though. I have TP, Baron's not up. And we got supers in both waves, so I don't think they actually get anything here. The worst thing about that play is I just don't have flash for next fight. Which makes it a little bit less guaranteed. Dang, man, that play's so high risk, actually. That's one thing I've been trying to get better at. I've been watching a lot of my VODs, and I notice I go for the high risk play a lot of the time. So I've been trying to, like, ask myself before I go for a play, like... It's like a scale in my head of, like, how risk this play is. It's actually been helping a lot, but... Sometimes I still do the plays like that. I mean, I think everyone does sometimes, but... Yeah, definitely something to work on. Whoa. 
Beautiful. That's how we do it. Holy moly, finally winning like one of these super long matches. That was a good game actually. That was a pretty close one. It felt pretty close anyway. Mm. I like that Ezreal. That was a well fought match. Wow, our damage was so similar. We're like so close. Even the Shack of Support putting up 23k, dude. Not bad, dude. I'm glad I went conditioning that game. 